Hey there, welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Morn, one of Festival's Mealtime Mentors, and today's recipe feature features beer, cheese, and popcorn, which I can't think of three better ingredients. Today we are making a Guinness beer cheese soup. So one of the things I love about this soup is that it actually does have quite a bit of veggies, so we're going to get started on that portion. So we have our um, medium-sized saucepan over here. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit and going to add in our veggies. So we've got onion, diced carrot, diced celery, and then adding in some minced garlic as well. So I'm just going to give this a little stir here and we just want to wait until these veggies get a little bit tender. Now we will be cooking them in our beer and chicken broth mixture, so we don't need to wait for them to get completely tender, but we just want to give them a little bit of a head start. Now we can add in our other ingredients. So we're going to add in a fair amount of black pepper. We're going to add in a little bit of salt to taste. A little bit of cayenne pepper for heat. And then a little bit of hot sauce as well. So you, the great thing about this recipe is you can adjust the heat to your liking. So I don't like things super spicy. I didn't add in a ton of that hot sauce or cayenne, but definitely feel free to make this and adjust along the way. I'm gonna give this just a little stir here. And the next step is we're gonna add in our liquids. So as I mentioned, this is a Guinness beer cheese soup. So we are using two cups of Guinness in this recipe. So the Guinness actually takes place of what would normally be more chicken broth. So the other thing about this recipe you can customize is really how much beer that you want to put in. So like I said, we're putting in two cups of beer and three cups of our chicken broth, but definitely feel free to adjust if you want more beer flavor, if you want to completely leave off the beer, you can just use chicken broth instead. So I'm going to add in about three cups of our lower sodium chicken broth here. And then we're just going to let this simmer for about 12 minutes or so. We just want to let all these veggies um, get nice and tender in our pan. Going into our cream sauce, we're making a simple roux. So we've got some butter. And I just need to let our butter melt here in our pot. All right, our butter is all melted here in our stock pot going to add in our flour. So we're making a roux for our cream sauce. And I'm just going to give this a good whisk. Just going to keep whisking this until that flour gets a little bit browned. And then it's completely mixed into our butter. That looks good. So now I'm going to add in our low fat milk. I'm going to add this in nice and slowly, whisking in between to make sure that the milk doesn't get scorched. So you add a little bit of milk, whisk, 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 until combined. You add in a little more. We've got four cups of milk going into this, this cream sauce. So just want to be patient, add it nice and slowly, keep whisking in between. This is going to make that soup really nice and creamy. And then we're gonna add in our cheese. So today we're using six cups of shredded cheddar cheese. We actually bought a block of sharp cheddar and grated it ourselves, shredded it ourselves. And the reason for this is that it'll melt a lot better without that anti-caking agent that's typically found on pre-shredded cheese. So that might be a good step. You can definitely use the pre-shredded cheese. It just may not melt quite as well, which might impact the consistency of the soup. So we recommend buying a block and shredding it yourself. We're gonna let that cheese melt a little bit while we wait for our veggies to continue simmering too. All right, our veggies have been cooking. They look nice and tender here, and their cheese sauce is perfect too. That really came together nicely just from continuously whisking it at low heat. So now I'm gonna add in our beer veggie mixture to our larger pot here. Trying not to make a total mess, which is not my forte, but we'll try. All right, this looks great. So I have our larger 
soup pot here on low to medium heat. I'm just combining it all together, giving it a nice stir. It looks really good. Last couple ingredients we're going to add. A little bit of Dijon mustard, which will give it some nice mustardy flavor. Also feel free to adjust that to taste. Adding a little bit of dry mustard powder and a little bit of Worcestershire. At this point too, feel free to adjust some of the, the heat that we added earlier with the hot sauce or the cayenne. If you give it a taste and you're like, mm, not quite spicy enough, this would be the time to add those ingredients in. At this point, now that everything is combined, we would let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Really, the longer you let it simmer, the more all those great flavors are going to come together. So feel free to let it go longer. But for time's sake today, we are going to serve this up so we can get to garnishing our soup, which I mentioned earlier, popcorn was involved in this recipe. And that is what we are garnishing with today, which is a really fun garnish, something a little bit different than your typical um, crackers that you would normally do with soup. So I'm going to take my popcorn here. I love popcorn and beer, popcorn, cheese, all that together are some of my favorite foods for sure. So I'm going to give this just a little bit of a try, make sure I can taste that beer. Oh my gosh, the beer comes out so, so well with this soup. So grab some Guinness and make this Guinness beer cheese soup. To get this recipe on your phone, text BEER to 78402. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit fastfoods.com.